Hello friends and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an estate model pop-up using Bootstrap 5. So let's get started. Here I have the plain index.html file and now I'll be going to the Bootstrap 5 website and I will be copying the starter template to our index.html file. I'll just remove some unwanted lines and change the title to nested model. Next inside the body let's start coding. We'll first create a div having the class container and inside that container we'll create the button with class button button primary. Type is equals to button and let's give the text as open first model. Let's go to the browser and check. So you can see the button over here. I'll just add some margin over the top. Now we'll create the model pop-up. First we'll create a div with class model. And inside that div we'll create another div with class model dialog. Under that, we'll create model content div. Model content will have three parts, model header, model body, and model footer. Inside model header, we'll give the heading with h5 tag and class model title. We'll give the text first model. Now let's work on the action part. We'll give the ID my model to the model div. And inside the button, we'll give database target is equals to the ID name that is my model. Next, database toggle is equals to model. Now let's check in the browser. So our pop up is appearing on click of the button. Next, beside the title, we'll create a button having the close icon. We'll give the class button close. So you can see the close icon now. Next, like on click of the close icon, the pop-up should be closed. So we'll give data BS dismiss is equals to model. Next, we'll work on the model body. Here I'll just give a label with text message and a text area. I'll just remove this name, ID, calls and rows as of now. So this is looking weird. Let me just check. Okay, so here I have made a mistake. Like I have given the class as form control and there is a mistake in the spelling of form. Now the alignment looks fine. Next inside the model footer, we'll create two buttons, submit and cancel. For submit, we are using button primary class and for cancel, we are using button danger. It will come in red color. So on click of cancel, the model pop-up should close. But that will be using the same database dismiss as equals to model. I'll just give BG light class to the model header.
now we are done with creating the first model next we have to create the another model which should appear on click of submit for that i'll just copy the same my model code and make the changes as required change the title as second model and inside the body we'll just write message received since it will behave like a success message so i'll just give the class alert alert success and the main thing we have to change the id of the model i'll give second model now we'll work on the button action so for the submit button we have to give database toggle is equals to model database target is equals to the id name that is second model and database dismiss is equals to model so that it will close the previous model on click of submit button we are seeing the second model with success message and the last thing which i want to change is i want to give a different color to the model header of the first model so i'll just give the bg info class and uh, change the text to text white so guys with this we have completed the nested model pop up tutorial please let me know your feedback in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel